Well, uh, viewers, um, here we are finally. Our quest to get to Tinian Island has uh, come to fruition. We're not too sure how we're making out, but we got over here this morning by plane. We've rented a car. We're driving around blindly on Trini uh, Tinian with a map that's vagueish, but we've come to this big roundabout with this amphibious landing craft in the middle and I spotted a big roundabout on the map so we know where we are. I thought I'd have a bit of coverage with the uh, Wi-Fi and that but uh, I bought a SIM card that doesn't reach this far. There's, there's no signal, very little signal here so it's not working. So it's a bit of guesswork, a bit of um, more guesswork. But anyway, here we are. We've only been here bloody <coughs> on the island an hour and uh, yeah, probably an hour we've driven around half it we've still got the major portions to see we've driven along the back roads mainly first but all the main uh, north field the big landing strips are over this way I think this road extends around here we don't have a four wheel drive we've got an SUV it's got a bit of clearance they said that the roads around here weren't particularly uh, amenable to a regular car so they didn't say we couldn't come here, but they suggested we shouldn't come here. So we're taking it easy, and um, yeah. So this is our first major piece of infrastructure. Oh my God, look. Ah. World War II and the bearings are still loose. Look at that. Yeah. Um, That's pretty neat. Anyway. And not only that, what's there? Somebody's been firing blanks. Now there's there's a real blank unfired. Mm. I don't know what calibre it is. These look like they look like 7.62s or 308s or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but they're off a belt. There, there's a there's a clip there, and I don't know whether Running. they've had a had a grenade here, here's a, here's a <laughs> oh pin and a, and a handle. Maybe so. we're gonna blow up soon. What's this one here? It's a um, cannon tube. There's a, see this? It's a cannon tube. Ah, oh, 60 millimeter cannon tube. Um, that's off a, um, off a camera. Ah, oh, I thought it's a gun. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'll just show you the design of this thing. Oh, it's been blown. blown away by the yeah it's been hit by a big bomb yeah look at that okay eight years look at those rounds 80 years. Well, thereabouts, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so signing off? Yeah, we can sign off for now. Next, next destination? Next destination could be at that sign just over there. Okay. Just uh, <laughs> by you. Viewers, once right. again, here we are. We've, uh, as you've seen, we've been round to the uh, old rusted out amphibious landing craft on that big roundabout. We've been wandering around roads looking <laughs> overground roads and all. We went to a place called Chulu Beach, saw a bunker down there. And now we've come to the, the so-called bomb pits. Um, this is actually number two, the one that, uh, the, the number two bomb they dropped on Nagasaki. Uh, they loaded this bomb into a boxcar. 
that was the second aircraft that went over a few days after the first and uh, yeah it's uh, a bit disappointing everything's faded the photos are faded and all that but um, this is the place they uh, put the bombs inside there towed the aircraft over the top and um, winched it up inside took it off and dropped her and uh, yeah so we'll go over here now there's number one over there the first one where they loaded um, the Enola Gay with the first bomb they dropped on Hiroshima. So, um, all right, we'll wander over to that one over there. And then I see a sign over here pointing to the bomb assembly point, uh, assembly, yeah, point assembly area, bomb assembly area, something like that. So we'll go check this out and we'll take it from there. This is uh, hit number two. The bomb load in the box car. And, uh, Okay, well this uh, little bit of a plaque in between the, the two bomb pits, it's uh, designated the Northfield Historic District National Historic Landmark, put here in 1985 by the National Park Service. It's a possesses national significance in the commemorating the history of the United States of America. So um, it's just an historical site commemorating the two bomb sites, uh, bomb pits either side. So, um, okay. Okay. Okay, well here we are, we've come over the second one, but it's actually number one. This is the uh, bomb loading pit for the first device loaded into <coughs> the Enola Gay, the B-29 flown by Paul Tibbetts, and Enola Gay being the name of his mother. Um, yeah, so uh, it's great, I think, to have these things. They're not very well kept, really. Uh, all the photos are faded. You think there might be a bit of a sunshade over the whole deal. Yeah, whilst there's a glass house, it's, uh, there's really nothing inside to protect except four big photos that are uh, all faded and warped in the sun. But anyway, pit number one, Anola Gay. Pit number two previously, Boxcar.
right, well there you are. Hopefully we'll see you in the next pit. That's why I take my time here. <laughs> I've struggled. <laughs> oh, well, that's a Japanese powerhouse. There you go. Thank you.
I did. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Yep. Troops, bloody hot outside. The temperature here, I saw it before somewhere, it was 98. No, 97. In here. But it certainly feels it outside there. Um, okay, we're at the western end of runway Abel, one of the four runways on Tinian, that were used by the B-29s for bombing Japan and elsewhere. And uh, okay, so we're at the uh, western end, looking here between these two clumps of trees, and gathering is the runway. So we're going to take a drive along there, and uh, the surface is in really good condition in many places, you know. It's, uh, yeah. B29 taking off, Japan, here we come. <laughs> Big yeah. I have to fold the wings here to get through. <laughs> well, you don't have a wings, you have an outrigger. Is that what it is? <laughs> All right, we're back on a bit of usable runway again. Continue our takeoff. Eight thousand two hundred feet long, two thousand six hundred meters. Four parallel runways: Abel, Baker, Charlie, Delta. How did you know that? <laughs> I read it. <laughs> I did my research, and it's on the map. Here again, and they said that by the end of this year, I read by the end of this year, it may be out of bounds. I can't see they take it all this may be out of bounds, but I'm sure the bomb pits and those historic sites will still be available somehow. Yeah, yeah. it's a good runway. Yeah, I think they had a couple of these open a few years ago for a military exercise. It wouldn't take much to scrape the top off. A lot of it just for temporary use. Yeah, it's good for car racing. Well, I don't know if we did 8,200 feet, 2,600 meters. This is the end of the runway. I'd say so. Well, I'd say so, yeah. And there's an access road down there. Now, I was going to go back. I thought you could go along to the top there somehow, but um, actually there is a road over there. Like a perimeter road. Oh, there's somebody else coming down following. So this is not <coughs> part of the runway. No, it's like a perimeter road or taxiway. It goes right along the end of all the runways. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first runway mm -hmm. of the set. No, I'm not going to go in there. Nah. That other car that was following us is just here. Yeah. Now, what's that sign over there say? We'll see. There's another tourist up there. Yeah. Uh, Japanese. So, so we'll have a look. What's that sign? <coughs> Put on your side. Yeah. Runway. Runway Abel. Ta -da. Ta -da -ta -da. I'm gonna 
to take a photo. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Meow. Meow. Yeah, well, now? The eastern. Wait. Okay. Yeah. So that's the eastern end of runway Abel, where we've just been. I tried to follow the perimeter road around that way, but um, you got to put too many scratches on the car. This is the perimeter road or taxiway along the eastern end of the runway, so that's the first of four. So we'll go down here a bit, but there should be a turn off to the left that goes out to a, a main road, a main track out there, but also to that blowhole. It's pretty wide, so it would have been a taxiway. <laughs> now, what does this sign here say? It say runway, able, airing, atomic pit, bomb pits. Can't even all, all right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get down, see if we can get to Baker. Mm -hmm. And this one goes back to the blowhole. We'll come back here in a moment. So it's okay to continue this video? Um, yeah, if you like, or just pull. I don't know what's going to happen up here. So this one here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> would be Runway Baker. Okay. And I knew it'd be pretty, because we saw it this morning, the two, uh, Abel and Baker are fairly visible from the air on Google, oh. but also we saw it this morning. Yeah. The next two down here are fairly overgrown. This looks like it's been mowed actually. Yeah. Uh, this is Runway Baker travelling from east to west. Mm. It's better than the other one. Yeah. You can land there now to this day with the Navajo. Yeah. This is that perimeter road. Now, we won't go along the other runways because. Because. I don't think they're as good as. Well, I know they're not as good as. But this is a perimeter road or taxiway on the western end. We were just up there a moment ago. Mm. So we'll go back along Baycar again. Yeah, 
aircraft have been landing here. Yeah. See all the touch down zone here? Yeah. Let's look like we are flying. Yeah. So to come from over here to here, uh -huh. two of us, yeah, in Australian dollars, uh -huh. together, two hundred and fifty-five dollars. Now, when we go back this afternoon, two hundred and fifty-five dollars for us both to go back. How long does it take? Well, block time was fifteen minutes. <laughs> it's, it's six mile across there, apparently, and it takes eleven minutes flying. I don't know. Okay. Um, do you want to? Wander down yeah, to the blowhole. I I Let's go to the blowhole. <gasps>
about. Yeah, the track's probably in there somewhere. And this is called. This is called the American Memorial. This is what I'll drive over there. Okay. Looks like everybody else has. Well, troops, we're um, getting towards the end of our tour. I'm thinking. There's a second big roundabout. I tried to access it from the other side, the western side, but um, it's all over grass. So we found it from the eastern side. American Morial here in the middle of the roundabout. And some headstones and plinths up there. With a request that we make an offering of water to those that have um, got their crowd, etc. So I'm having a drink of water and I'll share the rest with them. Yeah. We only have one bottle of water. Okay. Salty. But Uda is something. It's a 
residential house on the left side. I guess so. Yeah. So. It's a livable place. And we have this thing. Oh, oh sir, over there. Oh, oh okay. The right side. On the way, right? Yeah. We'll see it. Okay. Yep. I don't know if it's open, but I saw a yeah, well. um, Antonio Angono Laborja Amphitheater. Once there's a four wheel drive track, mm -hmm. is that one there? You see? Get back. Let's get back.
outside. For your safety, stay on walkway. Okay. So where do we park? Ah, uh, in here, correct? again <coughs> here we are almost at the end of our Mauritania tour I'd heard about the suicide cliffs I didn't really know where they were but I saw it on the map instead of this guys right down the bottom of the island so um, we've come around to it and here are the, uh, the suicide cliffs very sad place to be um, where all the people uh, apparently concerned about the Americans uh, moving in on them uh, went over the cliffs here. It's pretty well straight down onto some pretty solid rock there, so you'd be a bit of a bang for mess. But yes, this is pretty well right around the um, bottom end, just on the eastern side of the bottom end of Tinian. And um, yes, there's monuments everywhere. They're all in uh, Korean or Japanese. I don't know what, what language it is, but it's called Memorial Park. On the map, it's called the Suicide Cliffs, which I'd read about previously. So, there they are. You have to be careful, uh, you end up over the edge there, there's not much sort of protection. Where's that receipt? Yeah. 